angular displacement and how can you define one region angular displacement for an object you are going to learn the best concept of one region angular displacement which no one is going to teach you in the whole youtube community if you want to learn the core concepts of physics and maths then click on the subscribe button in order to get access to 100 videos for free before understanding the concept of angular displacement you must learn the relationship between arc and angle extended by the arc at the center of a circle let consider a circle and this circle let o is the center of the circle now let consider that there is a body at point x this body starts moving from point x and reaches to point y on the circumference of the circle or on a circular track or you can say that this body is displaced from the point x to the point y let the distance covered by this body is s now the distance of the point x from the center is the radius of the circle which is denoted by r similarly the distance of the point y from the center is the radius of the circle which is also denoted by r and maths the distance s of the body from the point x to the point y on the circumference of a circle is known as an arc so i will call this s as an arc this arc or distance s of this object extends an angle theta at the center of a circle let here the angle theta is equal to 40 degree now let us consider another circle let in this circle the body displaces from point a to the point b and this circle the distance covered by this object is small while in this circle the distance covered by this object is large from point a to point b or this arc is smaller than this arc hence this arc will extend larger angle theta at the center of the circle let i call this angle theta is equal to 60 degree thus from this example we learn that the distance s covered by an object on circular path or on the circumference of a circle depends upon the angle theta at the center for instance in this circle the angle theta is small that is y the distance covered by this object is smaller while in this circle the angle theta is larger hence distance s is larger of this object than this object remember that there is direct relationship between arc s and angle extended by this distance or arc at the center of this circle now what is angular displacement the answer is that if you have learned the previous concept then i congratulate you that you have already learned the concept of angular displacement the angle theta subtended by the arc at the center of any circle is known as a angular displacement or one can say that central angle subtended by an arc on a circumference of a circle is known as a angular displacement angular displacement is denoted by theta the formula of angular displacement is theta is equal to s upon r here s is the length of an arc while r is the radius of a circle and theta is the angular displacement in radians remember once again that theta is the angular displacement and radians angular displacement is a vector quantity now as i told you that we measure angular displacement theta and radians or we can say that the si unit of angular displacement theta is radian then what about one radian or how can you define one radian angular displacement for an object let's consider a circle 
let the radius of this circle is 1 meter. Now a car moves from point A to point B and covers a distance S of 1 meter on the circumference of a circle. Then we can calculate its angular displacement as follow. We know that angular displacement theta is equal to S upon R. Where S is the distance of an object or car on the circumference of a circle. While R is the radius of the circle. Hence, theta is equal to distance of the car which is 1 meter upon while radius of the circle which is also 1 meter. Hence, we get theta is equal to 1 meter upon 1 meter. As a result, we get theta is equal to 1 radian. Remember that the SI unit of theta is radian. That's why I am putting radian with the angular displacement theta. Now we can define one radian as the angular displacement of a car would be one radian if the radius of a circle is one meter and the body covers one meter distance on the circumference of a circle. Let me repeat this statement once again. The angular displacement of a car would be one radian if the radius of a circle is 1 meter and the body covers 1 meter distance on the circumference of a circle. If you understand the concept of theta is equal to 1 radian, then you understand the concept of angular displacement. Now you must also learn the concept of negative angular displacement and positive angular displacement. If a body is rotating in counterclockwise direction, then according to physics conventions, its angular displacement is positive. Similarly, if a body is rotating in clockwise direction, then according to physics convention, its angular displacement is negative. Hence, counterclockwise angular displacement is known as a positive angular displacement, while clockwise angular displacement is known as a negative angular displacement. At last, let me teach you that how can we calculate or determine the direction of angular displacement. It is a very common mistake of many students who do not understand the direction of angular displacement. In order to learn the direction of angular displacement, we must learn the right hand rule. Remember that the direction of angular displacement is always along the axis of rotation. Axis of rotation is fixed line or fixed axis that passes through the center O of any circle. The plane in which circle lies, the axis of rotation will always be normal to this plane or there will be 90 degree angle between the plane of a circle in which it lies and the axis of rotation. Now let's consider that a body is rotating in counterclockwise direction. Here, let this line is the axis of rotation. Now grasp the axis of rotation in right hand such that the finger of your right hand curl in the direction of your rotation. The thumb of your right hand points in the direction of angular displacement. Thus here, your thumb points in upward direction. Hence, the direction of your angular displacement is upward or outward. While in this case, if the body is rotating in this direction, curl the fingers of your right hand in the direction of your rotation. Then the thumb of your right hand points in downward direction. Thus the direction of your angular displacement is downward or inward. I hope that you have learned the concept of angular displacement. If you have learned something new in this video, then like this video and share this video with your friends. Thank you very much for watching this lecture.